Okay, so right back at you here. Um, this here is a siding I want to share that uh, was given to me back several years ago. And the siding itself took place in Carter County, which is in central Oklahoma, south central Oklahoma. And this siding happened back in 1967. It's actually the year I was born. Actually the year that uh, Roger Patterson and Bob Gimlin shot the famous uh, Patterson uh, film footage of the Sasquatch walking across the uh, clearing there in, in uh, Northern California. But anyway, making myself feel old when I think about it there, but anyway, uh, this happened in 1967. So I'm gonna read this account as it was uh, given to me, and I do have permission to run this. He said, I don't mind you posting the sighting uh, as long as you don't use my name. And I always respect that. If someone wants me to use their name, I would ask you if you submit us a, uh, an encounter sighting report to me, you know, specify whether you do or don't want me to use your name. And I'll always respect that. But anyway, back to this. Like I said, this happened in southwestern Carter County, uh, 1967. And this uh, individual said that he was looking for cattle on his grandfather's farm uh, when he encountered a large creature. He said it was in an area that was uh, fully wooded near a creek. The closest house at the time was probably a mile away and there were very few houses in a two to three mile radius of the siding. And he goes on to say, when I saw the creature, he said, I first thought it was a bear, which in that time that would have been very rare in this part of the state and it still is to the day. But anyway, he said, when I first saw the creature, I first thought it was a bear. It was bent over on all fours. And he said, as I approached the area where it was located, I was on my motorcycle. Apparently the sound of the bike getting close caused it to stand up. And he said he would, I would guess that it was six and a half feet tall at least. So he said, as I approached, it slowly walked into the woods on its hind legs and disappeared. And that kind of rules out a bear there. You know, we know bears don't walk for long distances, except in rare occasions on their hind legs. But he said, as it, I approached, it slowly walked in the woods uh, on its hind legs and disappeared. I could not make the color, oh, wait, 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 I missed one. It says, I could not make out any facial features and the time of day was almost dusk, so the color was not easy to see either. He said, I thought at the time it was dark brown or reddish brown, but I cannot be sure. I didn't mention the sighting to anyone for a long time. I finally did a few years ago. And the reason I didn't mention it was I didn't think anyone would believe I had seen anything. He goes on to say, I did return to the site a few days later to see if I could find any tracks, but was unable to do so. There have also been sightings in Carter County uh, near this area. And he said, I found those other sightings on a different website, which he didn't tell me what they were and I didn't look. But anyway, he said, I don't know that my account of a sighting will help you map your research, but if I can offer more details to the exact location, I will be happy to do so. And I can say that since then, you know, uh, I've built a pretty good database of sightings and this, this report did help me, uh, you know, map out different sighting locations uh, in the state of Oklahoma. There's more than a lot of people realize from the central, <clears throat> excuse me, the central part of the state and the further you go in the east part of the state, you get a lot more of them, especially down in the Kaimishu Mountains. But really, all along the eastern border of the Arkansas-Oklahoma border, uh, there's a lot of uh, sightings. Some of them going back to, uh, I think there's one in McCurtain County, uh, going back to the late 1800s, uh, down in an area where the uh, Little River runs into the Mountain Fork down there by Idabel of a man riding horseback uh, down in those swamps there and seeing this thing stand up in the tall grass at the edge of the woods and run from him in a, he described it as in a, in a hopping, jumping fashion, getting away from him. And that was a long time uh, before we had a name, you know, for Bigfoot or whatnot. So, yeah, you know, the, there's a, you know, a lot of areas in Oklahoma where sightings of these creatures are uh, more common. And anyway, that's one another one for the books there and i hope you enjoyed it um, and like i say if you have an encounter you would like to share uh, just send me an email at bigfootandmore at yahoo.com 
if you uh, want me to share it, I will. If you don't, if you just want to uh, give me the report for my database, that I would respect that. I received one uh, two days ago of a very interesting uh, series of events that was just given to me for uh, for my database. So, like I said, if you like uh, what I'm doing here, uh, share, subscribe, um, and if you want to drop me an email, Bigfoot and more at yahoo.com. Thank you for watching.